have a dingy towel and you don't know what to do with it? Stick around and I'll show you how to convert this dingy towel into this beautiful bath mat. Hi everybody, good morning, maayong buntag. I'm back and this time I'm gonna show you a video on how to repurpose an old dingy towel. The bath mat I'm gonna make is not the, the ones that you see on stores where uh, it has like a, a rubber on the bottom. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna make a bath mat similar to you know that the hotels when you go inside a uh, check into hotel there is a, a, a small towel that they put for your feet. It's thicker than a regular uh, towel but it's shorter. It's like a one-third size so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to convert this to a bath mat. So first off if you notice, this towel has a, like, uh, a little design here. But I'm going to cut this, this thing off here. I don't want to use that part there. But um, I'm going to use this little design. So I'm going to cut this piece first, okay? So. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, except I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this all the way up here, this side here, okay, and I'll show you why I'm doing that, I'm just, I'm going to cut all the way here, but when I cut it, I'm going to leave a small piece, I'm not going to cut all the way over here, this little um, loops of uh, fabric here. I'm going to cut a little, just a little, uh, leave a little piece here. Okay, so, so you noticed? I left a little piece on there. Okay, the reason is that when I fold this fabric, I mean the towel, um, like so, I'm going to fold this and fold it that like that and sew instead of, and sew it, that way it has like a, a nice edge, but Instead of sewing it all over this very thick part of the towel, I'm going to sew it on this little, the, the little piece, the thinner one. So I'm going to sew it that way. Okay. See? So it has a really nice edge. Now on the other side, on the folded side, see? There's a folded side. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other piece where I cut the... Um, the other piece of the towel, the, the end of the towel, I'm going to cut this and use that to put over here. Okay, so let me cut that one. So cut the strip right there. And um, that's what I'm going to use to sew like that so it would match the other side. And okay, so now um, what I did was I uh, put a, uh, I pinned uh, both um, fab I pinned it in such a way that this one here sticks out a bit. So when I fold this, and sew it. I'm only going to sew this and this, not not the stick apart. And what I also did was because when I when I do this, when I try to fold it and sew it this way, this is so thick. So I unstitched it, and I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this part, okay? So when I unst when I unstitch this one, it won't be t very thick when I. When I fold it, I have to fold it this way, fold it this way, and then fold it a second time and sew it there. 
see? And it's very important, I, I, I have to say this, um, because it's very important that you have a very sharp um, needle. You're gonna have to replace your needle, especially if you're working with uh, thick fabric, like uh, the towel, terry cloth, you need to have a very sharp needle. Okay, so I am going to my sewing machine now. So I'm trying to fold this edge here and um, So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stitch this side here. So I already did this side. If you notice, it looks so nice. It looks so uh, finished. It looks like a, it has a design. So I'm going to stitch this side and the other side. Okay. So I'm doing what I'm doing right now. This strip is a little short, and because um, I guess the towel shrunk, but um, that's okay. It's, it's it's not a big deal. It's not a. So, see, I pinned this, the strip to the towel, and uh, if you notice it, it's that I'm going to sew it. The strip isn't, it, it shrunk, you know, because it's an old towel, but I'm not going to go all the way over there. So, if you notice, that's, that's why I pinned it, and then I'm going to fold it that way, and going to sew it on, on both sides so that it will match this, this other one okay okay so now i'm done sewing the edge you know the the ends so this see right here this is one end and then uh, the other one this was tough because um, i have to sew you know this through the the towel and it's really really thick so what i suggest is that you have if you have a speed adjustment on your sewing machine put it on very slow because you don't want to break your um, needle but uh so i did that so i did that one side see and this side so now um, it's actually this is actually done if you if you, if you want to really leave it like this it's fine you can use this on that but you know to prevent it from you know, because there's two towels put together to prevent this from separating like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a square in the middle like that. S sew a square in the middle. Sew it. And then if you have like a, a, a machine that has different stitch, stitch pattern, you can do that. So, Okay, so now what I did was... I pinned my towel and then uh, so that I know where to sew. See right there? If you notice all those pins. Okay, another tip too if you're working on a white fabric, I usually use a colored pin. And especially for uh, something like this that's uh, very thick, then if you use a white colored uh, pin, 
um, the, the pink gets buried in the fabric and you don't even you don't see it so you you forget all about it so it's better to use a colored pencil now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I am going to sew a square pattern okay. So this is how it looks after I sew the um, the center, see, so that it's not going to separate. And so there you have it. So if you like this video, please make a comment below. And if this is your first time to watch this video, I highly recommend that you subscribe because my goal is to give you tips and ideas on how to save money. Thank you and the Kang Salamat.